Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about a devastating condition called acanthamoeba keratitis. We see a lot of this in eye casualty clinics and the worrying thing is how many patients are unaware that their contact lens practices are actually putting them at risk of developing this condition. The reason why this condition is potentially very serious and devastating is that it can lead to permanent sight loss and scarring with devastating life consequences as a result. So if you'd like to learn more about this, then please stay tuned. Acanthamoeba keratitis is a rare sight-threatening parasitic eye infection that is commonly seen amongst contact lenses wearers. Some environments in which acanthamoeba can be found to be free living include hot tubs and swimming pools. Moreover, tap water can also harbour such species. The most obvious risk factor for acanthamoeba keratitis is the use of contact lenses. Other risk factors include trauma and then subsequent exposure to the parasite. Acanthamoeba keratitis can be found with lots of different modalities of contact lenses, including dailies, monthlies, extended wear, and even rigid gas permeable lenses. The thing that worries me is, as mentioned in the intro, how many patients actually come into eye casualty clinics unaware and almost oblivious to the fact that they are practices that they engage in are actually putting them at great risk of getting this infection. So basic things such as patients appear to sleep in their lenses, shower in their lenses, use tap water to clean their lenses. All of these practices are very, very dangerous and very risky in terms of potentially contracting acanthamoeba keratitis. Patients should be thoroughly educated about these risks and therefore they can then make informed decisions and choices about what type of lenses they would like to wear, if indeed they would even like to continue to wear contact lenses. Some have even advocated getting written consent from patients that they fully understand the above risks mentioned in terms of acanthamoeba keratitis risks so that the practitioners are covered, such is the severity of the condition if contracted. Acanthamoeba keratitis patients typically are in a lot of pain, their treatment modality tends to be complex and their treatment duration can also be extended, again making it very frustrating for patients. They may require admission, they may require hourly drops and intense treatment and this treatment as mentioned can go on for several months. The other frustrating thing with acanthamoeba keratitis treatment is the outcome is very guarded in terms of the prognosis. Another thing to mention here also is the fact that the diagnosis of acanthamoeba keratitis can even be delayed in the first instance, which again complicates matters. The main emphasis of today's video was really to try and understand um, why contact lenses patients engage in such risky behaviours as it were. Is it a lack of knowledge? Is it knowledge, however, um, ignorance that they won't contract such serious infections, which is it? I would love to hear from you. So if you are a contact lenses wearer and you um, have heard of canthamoeba keratitis, so please let me know, was it because you were cancelled adequately prior to contact lenses wear? Was it because you did your own reading? Was it because you came across a story of somebody who had devastated consequences due to contracting the infection? I would love to hear from you. I think it's important we try and raise awareness of acanthamoeba keratitis and the devastating consequences it can have and trying to also ensure that patients understand the simple measures and steps that they can take to try and reduce their risk of contracting it in the first place. Contact lenses where should be a relatively low risk um, event in terms of what patients are trying to achieve and remember contact lenses are medical devices um, but it's important to remember that they are associated with risks and one should try and alleviate and minimize as many risks as possible so as i said i'd love to hear from you um, please share your um, stories 
and the information that you may have and know about canthamoeba keratitis. Um, it'd be interesting to know how many patients wear contact lenses and how many patients are actually aware of acanthamoeba keratitis. Thank you so much for watching this video as ever. Please do subscribe to the channel, click the like button and click on the bell icon. Until next time, take care and bye.